Say what you will about tablets being the future, this is the present, and laptops ain't going anywhere. I'm Molly Wood, in for Brian Cooley with a CNET Top 5, the best five laptops you can buy right now. So why buy a laptop when tablets are the future of media consumption? Well, maybe because laptops are still the future of getting some damn work done already. If you still like typing, you don't like grease smudges on your touchscreen, and you could use a little more horsepower than an oversized smartphone chip, here are the five laptops that our CNET editors say are the best you can get. Coming in at number five is the HP Pavilion DM1. The main thing we love about this guy, great battery life. And the AMD Fusion platform. It combines that power efficient performance with better graphics than you would normally see in a budget netbook. Because it also costs less than 500 bucks. If it weren't for that HP bloatware, it would be love. At number four, we're going the opposite direction, price-wise and size-wise, but we're sticking with HP. It's the high-end HP Envy 17. The Envy line is HP's premium laptop brand, and the Envy 17 is a sleek aluminum MacBook Pro clone with a beautiful display, high-end audio, plenty of power and performance, and even USB 3.0 for around 1500 bucks. Plus, trust me, I actually own the HP Envy 14, and believe me when I tell you, it's real purdy. In at number three, the 11 inch MacBook Air. The first MacBook Air came off like an overpriced toy for annoying wannabe CEO types. The second MacBook Air came off like a gotta have it. By some reports, Air sales topped 1.1 million in the first three months after launch. The 11 inch model is the stunner too. Unbelievably light and thin, instant on performance and very impressive battery life. Although, with a $1,000 price tag, no SD card slot, no backlit keyboard, and a pretty outdated processor, the MacBook Air is still a little more flash than value. But I dare you to use one and not have to have it. In at number two, you'll want to check out the CNET Editor's Choice Toshiba Portage R705. But maybe don't buy just yet. This laptop is described by our editors as being as close to a perfect balance of design, price, and performance as you'll find in a Windows laptop. So what can make it better? Sandy Bridge. The R800 series is coming, hopefully very soon. So considering how much we love the R705, the more powerful and efficient Sandy Bridge processors will make the new Portages a total must-have. And before we get to number one, I'd like to hear your opinion on whether reports of the laptop's death are greatly exaggerated. Gartner Research reported this week that tablet sales will grow from 15 million in 2010 to 54 million in 2011, and that laptop sales will tank as a result. But I want to know what you think. What are you more likely to buy in 2011, a laptop or a tablet? Tell us in our poll at the CNET TV blog over at blog.cnettv.com. Okay, now it's time for the number one best laptop as rated by our CNET editors. No surprise here, it's the MacBook Pro in any size you want. The 15-inch MacBook Pro is a CNET editor's choice thanks to its new high-end processor options, great graphics, and the new Thunderbolt I.O. port. And the 13-inch model may not have the graphics horsepower, but the 2.7 GHz Core i7 processor is serious business, and the battery life is amazing. I know some of you were hoping for a redesign with the new models, but come on, it's not like the MacBook Pro is ugly. And there you have it, the five best laptops available right now or coming soon. Happy shopping everyone, I'm Molly Wood and you can find all the CNET Top 5 videos at CNETTV.com.